after a seven point game one win. We turn things over to Joe Missoula after Boston's Joe, loss. Uh, lost our offensive purpose, lost our game plan discipline, allowed them to get out and transition, get second chance shots, didn't guard the three point line. Uh, this is your fourth home loss. I know I asked you that question in practice yesterday, but again, you're 500 at home. How, how does that keep happening? Um, I don't think that has anything to do with the fact that, you know, we won three out of the four quarters. Um, we got away from who we are in the third quarter, whether it's home or away, it's the details, it's the margins, it's the little things. Um, we've shown we can do it both home and away. And I don't think that matters as much as what our mindset is during certain stretches. When it's, when it's going like that, I mean, you gave up 46 points in that third. Obviously, if you knew how to stop it, you would have stopped it. But, I mean, that's where along the way could it have been stopped where it wasn't? Um, get better shots. Don't turn it over. And don't foul. Don't give up offensive rebounds. And don't give up threes. You spoke in yeah, practice about needing to dial back into that urgency from the last few games of the Philadelphia series. How did you think your team adjusted to a totally different type of series in, in this Miami matchup? Uh, I thought the first half was good. And I thought we just let go of the rope in the third quarter. Lost that sense of urgency. Um, adjusting to the fact that uh, we played harder than them in the first half and they played harder than us in the second half, but third quarter. They shot higher than 50% uh, from three. Was that them hitting shots? Did you see something in terms of uh, getting out on them? Uh, that kind of goes back to some of our game plan execution as far as taking away certain personnel. Um, you know, uh, Lowry hit one in transition, which he's great at. Love hit one in transition, which he hunts. Uh, we lost sight of Struess a couple times. Um, you know, he hit a deep one. So I think it's just more about personnel tendencies, game plan execution. And evaluation of the fourth quarter execution down the stretch, what did you see there on the uh, offensive side? It was side? Much, better, much better than our third quarter ex defensive execution. Joe, you called the timeout, I think, after a stop with three and a half minutes left in the game. What were you telling the team you were looking for, and how come you think you guys turned it over like several times after that? Uh, just our spacing. Uh, it was a use it or lose it. Had three, used one before three. Uh, got to our spacing. Um, floor wasn't balanced, and they were able to shift off of us. And going up against Spolstra, who's constantly making adjustments on the fly, willing to kind of call timeouts and change things up so quickly, how did you balance like trying to let things play out in the ways you usually do versus like having to seize control? I called two in the first quarter. Thinking more like the third quarter. No, I don't call two in the first quarter. Save it for the third quarter run. Joe, just uh, to you right, just a, a thought on on being down one nothing. You were down last year. You're down last year to the same team. One nothing as you look ahead. Yes, we are down one nothing. What th what things do you need to do now as far as uh, game plan, discipline, um, transition defense, defend without fouling. Uh, guard a three-point line, have a better um, understanding of personnel tendencies. And then on the offensive end, this team does a great job of taking advantage of bad spacing and, and bad offensive organization. Joe, uh, you said they played harder than you in the third quarter. That's what they do. They play harder than their opponent. How are you guys unprepared for that? And we, we were prepared. We played harder than them in the first half. And then they outplayed us for one quarter. So we were prepared for it. We had the right mindset heading into the game. But that, that, no, 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 we had the right mindset heading into the game. We played harder than they did, and we were prepared, and we did a great job. The third made all the difference, right? It did, but we were prepared, and then we let go of the rope. And so there's two storylines here. It's one, we were ready to play, and we had a great job executing on both ends of the floor in the first half, and it's about the consistency of they're going to continue to play. And so we have to be prepared um, for when we do outplay them that they're going to respond and we have to respond. And so we were prepared. We just let go of the rope. Yeah, why did you let go of the rope? I don't know. It's a great question. And um, uh, that's what we have to figure out. But it came from our attention to detail. But we were prepared for the game. We were prepared for them. And our guys came out and played. And then um, we have to be better in the third quarter. Joe, you, you've mentioned a few times getting away from the game plan. What, what specifically? veered out of what you guys were trying to do, I guess specifically for the defense you're referring to? Uh, just giving up threes and transition. I thought they got out in transition. 
Uh, they were able to get some leak outs. They were able, we, we got cross matched a lot in transition, which put us into some difficult spots in the half court and just lost sight of their shooters. Um, and then they got, they got some offensive rebounds on us in that third quarter as well. And you mentioned the preparation being where it needed to be. You know, Al saying what he did in practice yesterday and, um, you know, Malcolm mentioning that. Did anything kind of, you think, spill over from a um, preparation? We won three out of the four quarters. We lost one quarter because we, lost, we dropped our sense of urgency. So, no. And was that just from kind of the position you were in going into halftime with them? Yeah, I mean, I think some of that has to do it. I think also um, we played harder than they did in the first half, so naturally they're going to respond. And when you're playing at a certain level, especially against a team like this, you can't just think that what you did in the past is good enough. And so we have to adjust our mindset regardless of what we're doing in one quarter. We have to raise our level of urgency. We have to raise our mindset. Uh, knowing that they're going to respond. And that's what this series is about, is how long can we stay the more competitive, the more physical, the more disciplined basketball team. I have a couple of questions, Tim. You, you mentioned personnel tendencies a couple of times. There were a couple of times where you guys doubled on to Jimmy and he was able to get the guys to threes. Is that sort of what you were looking for in terms of trying to get the ball out of his hands, or was that more of the ladder of kind of losing track of shooters on the perimeter? Um, I think it was just like, a, there's, there's always freedom to make plays, you know, and I think if a, if a possession kind of warrants an opportunity to make a play, you can try and go and make it. And so I think on those couple ones you're talking about, we just tried to make a play and it didn't go our way. And yeah, but some of the, the threes are like the, the catch and shoot ones for Struis, um, the transition for Lyra, the transition for Love, uh, the Vincent ones, you know, those are the ones that you got to work to take away. And you mentioned spacing as an issue down the stretch. The ball movement was obviously really good in the first half. I think Mark said tennis issue. You guys had 15, obviously fewer in the second half. Was there a spe anything specific Miami did, or was that more of you guys getting away from what you were doing in the first um, half? I, I mean, I obviously think they played harder. I think they give up 40 points in the paint in the first half. They're going to make an adjustment. But I thought because we couldn't get stops in the third quarter, we weren't able to get out and get them cross-matched and get them uh, into five-on-four situations, you know? Joe, you talk about let go of the rope. That has been a pretty consistent thing throughout the course of the season. You guys have multiple instances of that. Why haven't you now in the Eastern Conference Final, why haven't you guys been able to break that habit? Yeah, um, I think it just goes back to like who can stay the more competitive, physical, detailed team the longest. And so we do it for long stretches. Um, and, you know, we just have lulls at times, and we got to be better at not having those. Thank you, Joe. Thank you.